When is a tree more than a tree? One of the longest surviving trees in Faulkner County is no more this evening. Strong winds from yesterday took out the old oak at the county courthouse. It was called the Fiddler's Tree because of the old bands that used to sit under it and play music. TSP 11's Ashley Godwin shares with us the history of that old oak and how it will now become a part of the county's history. This kind of uh, old time music, singing and playing really made all of our hearts very happy. And that's what life's all about, I think. Doris Hutchins was one of the fiddlers that played under the big old oak in Conway years ago. The tree was coined the Fiddler's Tree because every Saturday musicians came to play. There would be people gathered under this tree in the heat of the summer playing music. This tree now is gone and you know most of the old time fiddlers are also gone. Believed to be one of the oldest trees in the county, the fiddler's tree is said to have been here before the Faulkner County Courthouse was built. In 1837, Colonel Asa Robinson deeded the grounds to the county with a demand. Don't cut down the trees. So throughout the history of the county and, and the maintenance of the uh, trees and things on the property. They're always very careful not to remove them unless it's absolutely necessary. Just grown with Conway. You can see how massive this tree is just by me standing here. The trunk is still taller than I am, but the force of this tree falling broke concrete. And you can see here that there really aren't many roots that you can see on this side and there's there's some uh, decay in there. Krista Quinn with the Faulkner County Extension for the U of A Agriculture Service determined old age led to the fall. A lot of oak trees like this do live to be, you know, 100, even 200 years old. But the tree won't be forgotten. The Faulkner County Museum plans to take a slice of the tree to 